how to create a document grid inside Adobe InDesign. To start with, I've decided to create a layer called Document Grid where I'm going to add my document grid. I'm also working inside my A parent in my pages panel. So then once I have applied this document grid, it's going to apply it to all my pages. So first of all, double click on your A parent and go inside there. And then we're going to go up to layout. I'm going to go to create guides. Up pops this dialog box and inside this dialog box, it's just a case of making sure you've got preview selected and we're going to work from, instead of it being the page edge, we're going to do the margin edge and we're going to increase the amount of rows and we're going to increase the amount of columns. So we're going to have a four column grid and we're going to add some more rows. So it almost looks like a square. So once you're happy with the amount of rows and columns, um, you can also adjust it to the page, but I like to work to the margins and press OK. And then you've got a document grid set. The reason why I put the guides on a separate layer is I don't want to accidentally move the guides around once I'm doing the design. So if I can put them in a different layer, I can then choose to lock them. So I lock them by just hitting the little lock icon and then they will remain above the rest of the document in the layers and they're all locked um, so I can't edit them as I move forward through the document. If you go to your pages now, because we did it in the A page master, it's now uh, applied to all the different pages as well. So you can see that is your document grid applied to all your pages. So that's how to create a document grid in Adobe InDesign. Hope you got something out of that tutorial. If you did, hit like, consider subscribing, and I will look forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks for watching.